The Calgary Police Service Economic Crimes Unit has charged a man and a woman in relation to a lottery scam following a Canada-wide investigation. On Thursday, March 20th, 2014, a search warrant was executed at a residence in the 100 block of Glamis Drive Southwest as a part of an ongoing investigation. During execution of the search warrant, two suspects fled by jumping a second, second floor balcony. They were both apprehended after a short foot pursuit. Inside the residence, investigators found credit card data, mail with counterfeit postage, mailing lists, computers, and documents allegedly used to create fraudulent letters to purported lottery winners. Investigators learned that the group was believed to have a role in a lottery scam, which would receive letters in the mail stating they had won the lottery, but were required to deposit large, large sums of money into a specific account in, in order to collect the entire winnings. Canada Post was able to locate more than 5,000 letters with the same counterfeit postage. The letters were addressed to people across Canada and the United States. Albert Onalunos, 34, is charged with five counts of possession of credit card data and one count each of fraud over $5,000, using mail to defraud and counterfeiting stamps. He will next appear in court on Thursday, June 12, 2014. Abiba Gurma, 25, is charged with one count of identity theft. She will appear in court on Monday, June 23, 2014. The Economic Crimes Unit would like to extend our thanks to Canada Post, the United States Postal Inspection Service, and Alberta Cross Fraud Border Partnership for their assistance with this investigation. Yes, they did obtain money. Uh, we found instances of sums of money deposited into several different fraudulent bank accounts. That part of the investigation is still ongoing. Um, we're trying to determine the number of victims, um, as majority of them are actually across the border in the United States, um, and we'll be doing another release upon the conclusion of that investigation. Over 5,000 letters were found by Canada Post at this time, so uh, again, that investigation is ongoing. Was there an amount they were asking for for people, and what were they promising? Uh, they were promising, as part of a lottery winning, that the individuals would receive a sum of money, lump sums of money. Um, prior to receiving the money, they were asked to send percentages of that money, so varying percentages of that money based on taxes calculated and administrative fees. So, was there, sorry, a detailed, if there, I mean, people got different amounts in the letters they got? Or? It appears right now, again, that part of the investigation is still ongoing. It appears right now as though the letters that did go out were identical letters, copied letters uh, to many different victims. So how did police first become aware of this? Uh, we became aware of this in relation to another ongoing investigation that the Economic Crime Unit um, was doing. We went to execute a search warrant at a residence in relation to that investigation, and the two um, offenders charged in this case fled that residence. Yeah, as far as that goes, again, that's part of the ongoing investigation. The initial charges that we've laid are in relation to the um, mail frauds, the fraudulent postage stamp, and the identity theft that we could prove at this time. There is an ongoing investigation. Can you talk a little bit about the other ongoing investigation that was the reason for the search warrant? Not at this time. So in, in relation to this, the initial investigation started the day of the search warrants. Uh, when the two offenders fled the residence, what happened was that uh, one of the offenders had two bags with them. Inside the bags, there were laptops and precursors for the fraudulent letters or, uh, that um, supported the lottery scam. Were the offenders known to police? I can only speak about the charges uh, against the offenders today, or um, if you would like, the court has uh, open public records that you're more than welcome to check into. Did they just use random addresses, or were they targeting a specific group like elderly or things like that? 
At this time, it appears to be random, but again, that's part of our ongoing investigation. There are over 5,000 letters that were addressed, plus uh, we were able in the search warrant to find um, master lists of even more names. So they all appear random. And where would, like you'd say, a lot of the addresses are in the U.S., where would they get this list? Would they get it from a marketing company, or what would, they, would they go that far? You know what, at this time, that's part of the ongoing investigation as well. all over the United States. Any Canadians as well? There are some Canadians on the list as well, so across Canada. Any other questions? Uh, one last, what does it say about, what does it say about the people who fell for this? Uh, why did they do this fell for this? Well, I, I think probably easy money comes to mind. Uh, I would suggest that in a situation like this, uh, if it's too good to be true, uh, it probably is. So try not to uh, fall for those types of easy money scams. Um, unless you buy a ticket, in our experience, there's no legitimate lottery that would ask you to pay uh, prior to receiving your winnings. So watch out for that as well. If you receive any suspicious mail, we encourage you to contact the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre or the Calgary Police Service. It might open up into more, yes, that's part of the ongoing investigation. No one's being looked at currently. Not currently.